everybody! Today I'm opening up a new Loungefly backpack that I am a little extra excited about. Even though I am always really excited about every single Loungefly bag that I order, um, this one is just a little extra exciting. It's perfect for the holidays. It's right in time. And I'm extra excited because in this box is my very first Grinch Loungefly backpack. I love the Grinch. He's my favorite Christmas character. And one day I hope to own every single Grinch Loungefly backpack that they make. But for now, I'm just starting with one, my first one. And I don't believe that this is like the newest Grinch design. I think it's a little bit older one, but when I was doing my online shopping, this is one that I was able to find in stock. So let's open it up and take a look at it. And then I will tell you a little bit more about where I found it. Okay, we have some bubble wrap, and there it is. Let's take it out. So cute, so, so cute. I have to take this out of the plastic right away. I think that'll do it. If you're not a big Grinch fan and you happen to get this backpack, I think this is so cute that it could turn you into a big Grinch fan. It's so cute. I love this, it looks great. It's got the Grinch on the top half of the backpack and on the bottom half and like the front pocket, there's Max the dog. And the Grinch is all green and fuzzy. He's so fuzzy and soft. And then there's like a little leather piece with his hair in front. He's smiling and you can see part of his smile. And there's Max also smiling. They look so happy and cute. Unlike the Grinch, Max is not fuzzy but he's got these cute ears in front. You can see his ears and they kind of move a little bit. The bottom half of the bag is red and it's um, also soft, but I think it's like velvety. I'm not sure if that's the exact material, but that's what it feels like to me. It's like a soft velvet. And then what does it say on the back? It says Mary Grinchmas and that's embroidered in white. The nameplate says Dr. Seuss Loungefly. And an interesting note about this bag is that there are no outside side pockets. Now let's open it up and take the stuffing out. And there's not just stuffing in here, there's also this optional hat that can go on the top of the Grinch's head. Um, we will take that out of the plastic and try that in just a minute. You can see where the little, I guess, um, like snaps, little snaps are for it. So first let me cut this out of here and we'll look closer at the interior of the bag. The inside fabric is bright red and it has a pattern of white maxes and he's like jumping. So that's the whole pattern all throughout the inside of the bag. And there is one interior pocket and it's against um, the back of the bag. The interior zip pockets are pretty standard for the lounge fly bags, but let me try and stand my phone up in there. And I probably don't have to do that every time I do a lounge fly unboxing, but it's just something I like to do to give you an idea of the size and space of the pocket and then also of the bag a little bit too. So that is my 12 Pro just standing straight up in the pocket. Okay, so that's inside the main compartment. Now let's take a look at the Max front pocket. We've got some foam in there. They always pack these bags really well, full of foam and stuffing so that nothing gets like smushed during shipping. And they also always pack these little um, freshness packets, I don't know, sili silica packets. So inside, on the back of this inside pocket, they continue this um, like red velvet fabric on that part of the pocket. But if you turn it around to look at the front side of the pocket, then there's more of that red and white max pattern fabric. And phone wise, let's see. Oh yeah, I can definitely fit my iPhone 12 Pro in there, no problem. And there's even room for a bit more stuff in there. This pocket zips up really easily and does have some nice space to it. Now let's check out that hat that came with the backpack. So um, I've got it right here and they actually talk about it on a tag uh, that's hanging from the bag also. It says backpack includes removable hat and there's that tag. And so here's that removable hat. Let's take it out of the plastic. 
I think it looks really fun because it looks exactly how it's supposed to from the animated movie. It's really accurate. I like how they didn't just do a generic Santa hat, but they did the Grinch's Santa hat. Like this is very, if you're a Grinch fan, it's very easily identifiable as the Grinch's Santa hat. So let's try and put this on with the snaps. Here's the back. Just got a little, little snaps on it. Okay, one, two. That is so fun. I love this. I love it without the hat. I love it with the hat. I think it's a really extra fun touch about this bag. It looks great on. He's, it's just so cute. He's cute, it's cute, Max is cute, the whole thing. And I'm sure you could tell, but I'll mention it just in case, that the straps for this backpack and the handle at the top are all black. Okay, so now let me tell you where I got this bag from. So this is from the website 707 Street, or to be more probably proper and correct, 707street.com. I ordered two things. I ordered this and another bag that's a pre-order and hasn't arrived yet. So it was just one order for two bags and it was my first time ordering with them. So there was a little issue with the order. Um, I placed the order for both bags. It was confirmed just fine and this one started tracking. So I kind of forgot about it for a while. Like I was like, okay, it's on the way. And then I put it out of my mind. And then when it never arrived after a while, I went back and looked at the tracking info and it said that this had been lost in shipping. And you know, it's not their fault. It's just something that happens sometimes. But if I had been checking the tracking closer, I probably could have found out that it was lost sooner and got the situation handled sooner. So make sure that you remember everything you order online and keep track of the e confirmation emails or whatever, the tracking numbers, so that you can check on where everything is if it's not arriving in a timely fashion. So I contacted 707 Street and they were wonderful. I'm sure on their end, they could also see that the bag was lost. So they were very helpful. They sent out a replacement bag right away and it got to me very quickly. The only slight thing that I wish was different was that when they ship it to you, the box that this came in had no return address as to who it was from. Obviously it said it was to me and it arrived safely and just fine, but it didn't say who it was from and I just would have liked some kind of return information on the outside of the box. So I knew that before I opened it. Anyway, that's just me being nitpicky. But yeah, so we had that little shipping issue. They made it right, sent the new bag out immediately, got to me with no problems, so I was happy. This backpack costs $80 and it's called the Dr. Seuss Grinch and Max Mini Backpack. So I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this Loungefly Grinch and Max backpack with me. If you have this backpack or any of the other Grinch ones, please let me know which ones you have and how you like it. I really hope to get all of them someday, um, but I think I'm off to a really good start. This one is just adorable. So thanks very much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye.